God damn, that was a lot of fan service. Them steamy stockings. Oh my God. But even more important than that, the student council press showing at the end using Raikiri so OP. Someone's mentioned in the comments that they destroyed the resolution. It went from widescreen to full screen. Bro, she is so sick. But now Shizuku has to fight her in this tournament. Now Shizuku is 12 for 12, but I... Let's get real. Is Shizuku gonna win? I don't think so. If she does, great plot twist, but... It's the fucking top four from the last tournament. What do you expect? It's unfair. But regardless, it's going to be a hype episode for us, I think. Let's begin today's reaction. Spoiled child? Kind of? Better put these creatures called humans. <laughs> oh, it's just like, ah, oh, damn. I'm a disgusting human. T Who slapped her? Brother, maybe? Oh. Yuki. Get over yourself. And then all the grown-ups are like, <laughs> he punched him as a kid. Oh my god! But Suzuki probably decided, you know, like he's right. Interesting that she's mature enough to get that. I don't know. L listen to Iki back then. Oh shit! Here we go, bro. Here we go. Last remaining ancient giant foot. That is just a random golem power. Super pure water. Oh. 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 What? Okay, there's no elemental advantage then. Oh, some, some fan service of Shizuku before we go in. But goddamn, she's so flat. Oh, Stella's gonna give her some support? Oh, even though they, you know, banter between each other, Stella's, you know, getting called Pig Vermilion. She still cares. Alright. She's such a Sundere still, man. Of course she is, but it's nice that she cares. Alice, you shouldn't be... It's fine, Alice can go into whatever bathroom he wants. Then I'll be the one that loves when he's summer. Yeah, I mean, as too far as far as to kiss him in public at school. Look, if you can look beyond the shameless fan service, it is really endearing what she does for him. Shizuku wants to be there too. Mm -hmm. I'd like Shizuku to win this fight, but you know, like, ah. It's just so hard. If she does beat her, that'll be fucking epic. I mean, maybe it happens, man. I don't know. Toka. Without the glasses. The Deep Sea Witch. What a name. Oh, boy. She's so fast, we never get to see her blade. Damn. Look at those lightning effects, bro. She's not wearing glasses, though? Why? So sick. Wonder why no glasses. Last episode, she had glasses. Let's go. Oh. Well, that's a pretty cool transformation. It's, I don't know. It's kind of beautiful, right? Damn. Again, I love these kind of like... um. Like, you, you say a verb and then weapon name, right? It's so cool. I think he already does recognize her. Oh, this is getting dizzy. Oh. Oh, God. Right, Kitty. Noble Arts title has even become Toro-san's Noble Arts title? Yeah. Again, it destroyed the... You see the aspect ratio, guys? It fucking crumbled. Oh, shit. Does Shizuku have a trump card? Yeah, who did she lose to then? A spear user. Oh, interesting. So if you can stay outside the range and it kind of counters... Basically, if you get in the range of Raikiri, you're done. Your best thing to do is keep the range, but can Shizuku do that? Oh, okay. I mean, she specializes in long, long range, and this ain't too bad. Okay, she's able to, you know, keep a distance, put up all these, like, ice barriers up, too. 
I mean, she kind of has like long range moves too, right? Look, look, she's like shooting lightning. Ah, shit. But that, like, it's gonna exhaust her if she keeps doing this. Kind of same though for Toka. Oh, oh, oh! But it's not enough, right? Understands quickly. She's going to send deeply. <laughs> yeah, basically just run and spam eyes. But, you know, she's closing the distance every time. Just spamming lightning. This girl's insane, bro. Again, it's still in the sheath, right? We never see her blade. Maybe we saw her blade when she used the lightning attacks. Like when she was shooting it. I want Shizuku to win, but realistically, you know, Iki needs to have a motivational speech to Shizuku. Maybe Shizuku will pop off then. Maybe her ability to react and think is just even fast too, because lightning, I don't know. See something? The vice president here looks super derpy, I don't know. His face looks kind of goofy. Yeah, at long range that is. But what if she closes the range, man? Oh shit, she fast! She fast! Shizuku, you need to... Shizuku! What? How did she close the gap so quick? I don't get it either! We were looking at her and she immediately like teleported! Oh no, we're panicking. Oh no, she's gonna do it again. She's gonna... Oh no, you gotta do it again! How? How? It's not over, right? It's... Dude, the blade is out! I saw the blade out of the sheep. Oh. Oh, oh. Water. Okay, got some replacement kind of magic. No, she still took the hit, though. But even if we... I, I don't know. I don't know what she's... Oh, why? How? How? Maybe it's just the fact that she's so fucking fast that it doesn't matter if we're watching her. We can't even react to it. Nene Sensei, she's not even here anymore. Nene is the laziest commentator. Is she reacting slowly? Or is it the fact that, you know, Toka decided to move a little bit faster? Nene did something? That fan service scene? That fan service scene was actually important? Oh. No, it's... Nene doesn't give a fuck about commentating. Breathing and stepping. Nukiyash. It's basically flash step, right? It's like... Sh <laughs> <laughs> Nene senpai! I mean... Oh, like, I get it, right? This is just straight up sexual harassment. Why? It's got, like, some kind of flash step. She does it. She got flat. Just move fast. Bury yourself in the opponent's unconscious. What? Shizuka can see Toto. She doesn't realize that she died. Oh, I, I, I don't really get it. But basically... She's able to just move fast. I don't really know. <laughs> Demon Princess is Nene's name, right? Apprentice to the same... Who's, this, who's the master? Not you, director, is it? Who? The God of War? Who is that? Old geezer. I don't think we've seen them yet, right? What? Is she just a big... First time seeing Nene being pushed around like this. Pure constipation? What? No, you should just get more dietary fiber and water. A close range counter. It's over. Shizuku needs to hear this from Iki though. <laughs> See? <laughs> we need Iki. Onisama, give some words of encouragement. What's she doing? Wait, 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 wait. What's she... Did she just heal herself? Okay. I want you to win, but, you know, right? Kitty is kind of crazy. Also, we've never seen Alice fucking fight yet. Oh, the, in an actual tournament, I mean. 
そんなもの見つけたわけじゃない守っていてはダメだ、うん、ならば攻めるしかない Do you have a close range jump card? Man, this fight animation, like the whole episode has been cracked in terms of animation quality. Oh? She just. What? What was that purple lightning? No, maybe it's a water clone. Oh, oh, oh. Good, good, good. Well, where's the real one, though? Wait, hold up, guys, hold up. Maybe Shizuku can come back here? Magic mist slows her down? Just freeze the blade from coming out. I don't know. Uh. But is it good enough? She's had her eyes closed. It's over. Bro, she had her eyes closed the entire time. That right kitty was fucking soul chilling. I think Iki understood, but you know. That was a good fight, right? But at the end there, once the right kitty shows up, maybe it's a water clone, guys. Maybe it's a water clone? She's a. <sighs> Everyone knew this was gonna happen, but that was still a good fight. It was pretty well calculated, but at the end, like, Toka still fucking knew. She had her eyes closed. That's busted. I think she did a fantastic job. I just wish that Iki, like, would have said the motivational speech to her, you know? Like how Stella did. Alice has been there for Shizuku since, like, day one. Oh. I wonder why Alice cares so much about Shizuku, huh? This is what Iki should be doing for Shizuku right now. I wonder why Alice has been there for Shizuku since episode one, though, or like episode two. I bet he's so fucking disappointed. Isn't this the guy that was working with the golem shit last episode? <laughs> so it well, I was okay. So it was the Kurogane fucking family after it. Look, look, like who's gonna actually say that Shizuku did a bad job there? I think she did a fantastic. It's just that Raikiri, shit's busted. She had her eyes closed. By the time that Shizuku did her final water blade move, she was fucking there. She knew it and she faced it head on and beat it with Raikiri. It's crazy how ridiculous that move is really interesting to see who the like hearing about like the the god of war or whatever you know like nene senpai and as well as the person that beats uh you know toka last tournament which is some kind of like the king that uses like a spear right but ugh, this shit should be like future anime season territory that we won't be able to hear right that's kind of unfortunate but at the same time this shit was so hype and at the end there now i edited out the last video of the part where i speculate that it was this the kurogane family household that's kind of doing all this shit because i thought that i was wrong so i edited it out on the youtube video if you look on the patreon video i do mention kurogane i'm not lying guys whoever is the patrons that watch it please vouch for me but what is kurogane's dad up to here what, what what he's really willing to go and sabotage icky like that why what i don't i don't really know other than like how he cast him aside and i thought last episode when shizuku was talking to dad and dad was like no there's something more to it i thought maybe maybe the dad didn't really hate him and there was a separate reason but now that we know that the guy that was working with the golem shit you know was in the order of kuroga and his dad I have no clue, but hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content. Until next time, take care.